In the 1960s, New Zealand was one of the first countries in the world to install a new HVDC system to link Benmore in the South Island to Haywards in the North. It's for the purposes of transporting cheaper hydro generation from the South Island to the North Island. So Transpower kept it going. It was decommissioned partly in, I think, 2007, and the remaining part in 2012. My name's Andrew Gard. I'm the project director on Transpower's HVDC Pole 3 project. So that line's coming in from Benmore to Haywards. It lands on this tower on the right, and then the DC transitions into the DC switchyard where it connects into the pole three and pole two valve halls for conversion from DC back to AC. New Zealand is a long, stringy island nation, and that presents some unusual challenges for an electricity system. The HVDC pole three project really will help New Zealand long into the future in terms of our energy infrastructure and our supply. Here we've got uh, the South Island and the North Island of New Zealand. Most of the population here, in most of the hydro generation down here. I think that gives you a sense of why the HVDC Pole 3 project is so important in terms of getting the power from here up to the consumers and industry up here, and in dry years being able to do vice versa. We're blessed with an abundance of renewable resources about 70 to 75% of our power needs come from renewables. And so this just helps us to have a great supply going forward. One of the challenges of this project is that you're building a brand new DC pole into an existing system. We call it a brownfield project. Greenfield is where you have the clean, open field. Brownfield, when you're trying to tie it into an existing system, adds a huge amount of complexity and challenge. New Zealand is on that fiery ring of the Pacific, it's in an earthquake zone, so that was a significant challenge for Siemens. But behind us, you can see a large piece of equipment, a smoothing reactor, is mounted on a seismic damping system. Siemens had to design this to accommodate that potential for an earthquake risk. The valve hall, it's full of lead rubber bearings underneath, so that building can move gently in an earthquake. The hall, where the Iris, the valves are um, housed. They're very efficient. It's the latest technology from Siemens. That's sitting at 350,000 volts. Couldn't possibly walk around there. It'd be very dangerous. I think New Zealand would be very proud of the system we have. Um, that through a blend of different kinds of electricity, we have excellent security of supply. I think this HVDC Pole 3 project really strengthens that for many, many years into the future. The entire project is basically complete. Siemens have responded well to those challenges. We've got a good product that fits with the New Zealand system. Oh, look, it's been a long, hard journey. Um, it's been a couple of years without holidays for me and probably a few others. You know, projects are like that for us. We're project people, we, we enjoy working in a team and we enjoy the challenge. It's nice to have got there, really nice. We're all very pleased.
Thank you.